and you don't want to miss all this info, I'm going to let you borrow my glasses for now. Because we're transitioning from a La Nina to El Nino, generally that means lowered activity. I'm in Madera Beach, Florida, where beachgoers are taking in the last few hours. Near the Big Bend, where we're expecting landfall overnight into tomorrow, that's where they're going to see the highest surge at 10 to 15 feet. Live from Tampa, I'm meteorologist Mariel Ruiz. The smoke is carried onto the northeast. An area of low pressure is helping guide some of the smoke down as far south as the mid-Atlantic. And I am in here in downtown Sulphur, Oklahoma. I'm in one of the neighborhoods just about half a mile from downtown, but I've got the Fortier family with me here and you've got an amazing story here. Max sustained winds of 165 miles per hour. That's consistent with an EF3 rating, but some parts of sulfur did see closer to EF4 rating. Relative humidity under 50%. The dry air sucks the moisture out of the plants and the soil, leading to those drought conditions. Winter weather advisories, you can see several states under that across the plains. The red that you see there, blizzard warnings, and that also includes the far northern parts of the panhandle, and it's because of the high wind. This size, hailstone, when it's falling, can reach speed of 80 to 85 miles per hour from the bottom of the cloud to the ground. Quarter size or larger classifies it as severe and or strong winds with 58 mile per hour wind speeds or higher. And we will be here to guide you every step of the way for this just iconic moment in science history. So space weather was big on social media yesterday, and I do want to emphasize it is not the same thing as Earth weather. So it, we study something very different. And unfortunately, the National Weather Service has just issued a uh, tornado warning. So let's go ahead and stay on this. Uh, so the tornado warning, it does look like it's in place for Dallas, Kaufman and Rockwall County. And, and the, here's the thing with this. We are looking at a really strong line of winds right ahead and it peaks with about 100 meteors per hour. Every day this week, we'll see it ramp up to the peak, which happens on Saturday, August the 12th. That's Southern Hill County, Northern McLennan County. Make sure to get in your safe spot. That's the middle portion of your home or whatever building you're in away from windows and you want to make sure as many walls are between you and the outside as possible. Good morning, North Texas! We're at Waldorf Grove this morning, and we are showing you the new school in North Texas as they're gearing up for another Friday night football game. 